I would say that Latin America is a very, very interesting geography in all sense. Uh, it's a priority for us. Many reasons. One reason is potential growth. There is a potential growth. Second reason is talent, people. Talent to be developed, as what you were saying as well. So there is talent, uh, so we can develop it. It will be a great, great opportunity. Third is more or less some countries they have a legal framework that provides security and support for investments. That's, that's crucial to keep developing that legal framework. Four, government support and commitment to develop broadband initiatives, digital frameworks, applications, services, education to make sure that people have the right usage of the technology and to translate that usage into business impact and social developments. That's important, a government commitment in that. The ability to develop ecosystem, if we set up a manufacturing and a smart manufacturing plan, we need to make sure that there is an ecosystem around as a partnership model that keep a continuous and ongoing innovation. Otherwise, we become obsolete uh, over time. So it's so important those dynamics, market dynamics, and kind of stability in that sense. So Latin America has a lot of ingredients to make that happen. And we have invested in manufacturing, center of excellence, center of support, commitments with governments in terms of developing the, society, the information society. Now, having said that, there are also challenges. And there are some learning lessons from other countries in the past. I'm coming from Europe, and we, in some European countries, we experience a great growth for more than a decade. In some countries, 15 years. Great GDP growth. However, based upon some engines that didn't help out for the competitiveness. So we saw some European countries growing in the year, but the competitiveness gaps even getting bigger. Instead, to, be the, to have the ability to bridge them. So when the economic cycle changed and that those economic growth engines uh, were, were exhausted, all those economies collapsed. When I take the Latin America countries, especially the World Economic Forum uh, ranking, the scoring and competitiveness, you see exactly the same symptoms in terms of, uh, you see even countries scored 61, 62, 70. Even I think the, 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 highest, uh, the highest score, I mean, the most innovative in between the Latin America, I think it's Chile, is 34. This is what the World Economic Report. So, Overall, this is a collab in terms. Let's take this good momentum, this, the current stability, to make the right actions to foster innovation, to foster be better productive uh, models, and to create more business models that when one system is exhausted, the dynamics are flexible enough to help capture, capture the other one and be seen you know, sustainable growth. So, all the people here in this audience, we have that responsibility and to work together with governments, with private entities, with different market segments, to foster the information society developed and to take into consideration those reports and to make the right actions to ensure that. That's the reason why investment that is important and that will attract how to the ability to make the right regulatory environment to attract a consistent investment and continuous investment, which is what innovation needs over time.